Well, welcome. In this video, we're going to be continuing our discussion about complex numbers. Now, this lesson, there's a lot of information packed into this lesson, so that's why I'm breaking this up into multiple videos. So then that way, if you need to go back into any one of these, uh, you can do that without having to scroll through one long, super, um, monotonous video. Um, so in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to focus on just some basic operations with complex numbers, specifically adding two complex numbers, subtracting two complex numbers, and multiplying uh, two or more um, complex numbers. And the way that we're going to do this is, for this first example, we're going to define z as 4 plus 5i and w as 2 minus 3i. And we're going to be looking at how we can apply some of these, like I said, basic operations with those complex numbers. We're going to do those together. And then these three here on, um, on my left, you're going to be working on those on your own. And that'll end this video So um, before we go into the next part of this lesson. So let's look now how we can do some of these basic operations with complex numbers. So with this first one, they're telling us to take and add z and w together. So we're going to take 4 plus 5i, which is our z, plus 2 minus 3i. Basically, all you have to do here is combine like terms, because addition doesn't matter. It's not going to affect anything. We're going to add in any order. So we're going to take 4 plus 2, which would be 6. 5i minus 3i would be 2i. And that's really how easy that would be. Now let's look at the next one. The next one is z minus w. Now this gets a little bit more complicated because subtraction means that we're going to subtract all of w from z. So here's how I'm going to write this. I'm going to say 4 plus 5i. If you want to put this in parentheses, you can. But it's going to be minus. It's very important to put this next part in parentheses because we're subtracting all of it, the 2 minus 3i, from that previous complex number. So the way that I would do this, let me actually change the color here. The way that I would actually do this is distribute the negative through. So again, the 4 plus 5i, it's not necessary to have that in parentheses. But I'm going to distribute the negative through. So this will be negative 2. And a negative times a negative 3i becomes plus 3i. And now we can simplify this. Combine like terms like we did in the previous one. 4 plus negative 2, or 4 minus 2 would be 2. And 5i plus 3i would be 8i. So our answer here would just be 2 plus 8i. Let's look at the next one. The next one we're going to take z times w. So z in this case is uh, 4 plus 5i. We're going to need a little bit more space for this one. That's why I'm starting it up so high. Uh, but we're going to multiply that times 2 minus 3i. Now we could foil these together. Let's do that for this one. So 4 times 2 would be 8. 4 times negative 3i would be negative 12i. 5i times 2 would be 10i. And 5i times negative 3i is negative 15i squared. Well, negative 15i squared, remember we have to change that. i squared is negative 1, and negative 15 uh, times negative 1 would be a positive 15. And negative 12i plus 10i, let's just simplify that as well. Negative 12i plus 10i would be negative 2i. And like we said, negative 15i squared simplifies to be plus 15. We have to simplify this even further because I can see now that I have 8 plus 15, and 8 plus 15 would be 23. We want our answer in a plus b i form, so we want to make sure that we have the real number first. So 8 plus 15 is 23. Minus 2i would be your final answer there. And lastly, z divided by 2 means that we're just going to take z, which is 4 plus 5i, and divide that by 2. Now, again, you want to have your answer in a plus b i form. So I'm going to break this up into two pieces. 4 divided by 2 plus 5i divided by 2. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and the 5i over 2, we can just leave it as it is. So it would be 2 plus 5 halves i, or 2 plus 5i over 2 means the same thing. So that's uh, some basic operations. That's how you would do those. So I want you guys to try this next one on your own. Now, it's, I know it seems weird because we have some square roots in there, but I want you guys to try those anyhow on your own. So we have negative 1 plus 2i is our value for w. And square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 3i. By the way, the i is outside of there. If you want to write it like this, which is personally the way that I like to write it better, just so you don't get confused, that i is outside the root. So it would be 5i square root of 3. But why don't you guys go ahead and work on these three operations, 
and pause the video and hit play when you're ready to check to see if you've done it correctly. Okay, let's see how you did now. Some of these I know ended up being kind of strange. Uh, if you notice, the instructions here did not say to write it in A plus B I form because in these problems, you really couldn't get them in that form. For the first one, when you add those two together, basically nothing changes. It's just negative 1 plus 2i plus the square root of 3 plus 5i square root of 3. Now you've got to be careful with letter B. They switched around on us. It's z minus w. So with that one, you should have had square root of 3 plus 5i square root of 3 minus quantity negative 1 plus 2i. So when you distribute the negative through, that's about all, the only thing that changes. So you would get, when you distribute this negative through, you'd get a positive 1 here. And distribute the negative through, you get a negative 2i here. But otherwise, the rest of it stays the same. There's no like terms that we can add together, so that would be your final answer. Now, C is a little bit trickier. C, when you multiply these together, again, 4 times z times w. If you multiply z and w together first, we get this mess. And again, you could use the box method if you'd rather. In fact, it might almost be even a little bit easier to keep this all organized. But what happens is these two combine together because these both have square roots of 3. So these are like terms. So 2i minus, or square root of 3 minus 5i square root of 3 is negative 3i square root of 3 in the middle. And 10i squared square root of 3, remember i squared is negative 1, so this is the same as negative 10 square root of 3. Well, at the beginning here, we have a negative square root of 3, or negative 1 square root of 3. And then here we have a minus 10 square root of 3. Those are also like terms. So those simplify to be negative 11 square root of 3. Again, the reason why it's a negative 11 is because this is the same as negative 1. And when you add those together, you get negative 11 square root of 3 minus 3i square root of 3. Distribute the 4 through, and you get negative 44 square root of 3. Uh, square root of three. And 4 times a negative 3i would be minus 12i times the square root of 3. And that would be your final answer. So that's where we're going to end this video. In the next video, we're going to be looking at this idea of conjugates and how to divide by a um, complex number. So we'll end the video here. So good luck now as you work on that next video.